Let's take a look at the good stuff. Steve Dangle here, and this is another edition of Steve's Hat Picks brought to you by Warrior Hockey. You know, in all these episodes of Steve's Hat Picks, I don't know if I've ever worn a hat. The 2020 Stanley Cup Final is underway, but since our last Hat Picks video, there was another series that we had to get through, and that's Tampa versus the Islanders. And the Isles didn't make it easy on Tampa, and these first two Hat Picks should show that. First, in Game 6, Andre Vasilevsky with a save so good that... You can kind of miss it. And see if the Islanders can get a little boost from four minutes of penalty kill. Jordan Eberle stops up. Ready into the middle. Pollock with a shot up high and it's set up off the glass. The first one I don't think got through. I thought this one might be a shot. Did it not get through as it got blocked so. the first time and then there's a shot? Oh, yeah, that's there's a, a safe. So he deserved to get another one. That one was point blank and look at that all oh, right off the arm of Vasilevsky. It's kind of funny. I remember it being said during the qualifying round how much the crowd actually helps. Because even from the broadcast booth, you're not going to be able to see everything. So sometimes the crowd helps you out. And this save was ridiculous. I thought this one might be a shot. Did it not get through as it got blocked so. the first time? And then there's a shot. Oh, that's, yeah, there's a, a safe. So. so it might have got missed at the time. It didn't get missed on the replay. And it's not getting missed now. Andre Vasilevsky, that is a hat pick. And our last hat pick of the third round. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? Coming off the big Barkley Pedro stop. Centering pass. Sorelli scores! Anthony Sorelli finally bumps the slump and the Tampa Bay Lightning will play for the Stanley Cup. Group of Tampa Bay Lightning are off to the Stanley Cup final against the Dallas Stars, and the game ends on a two foot shot from Anthony Sorelli that had to be examined closely to see if it was in. Well, you saw in the third period how Varlamov made that one save when his foot was anchored to the corner. Anthony Sorelli, ooh, so close to a dang it. Look at this. Takes a shot, hits the post. I'm walking on goal line. Oh, can you imagine if Varlamov manages to reach back or someone just yoinks it from the jaws of defeat and then there's a game seven. Could be watching a different team in the cup final right now, but no. The Tampa Bay Lightning pull it off thanks to Anthony Sorelli. Sorry. Oshawa legend Anthony Sorelli. He helped send the generals. He helped. He won the 2015 Memorial Cup for the generals in overtime. That was a hat pick five years ago, and this is a hat pick now. Unbelievable. So this brings us to game one of the Stanley Cup final. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Tampa with the momentum of the big win, or is it going to be the Stars, fresh as a daisy with a few extra days rest? The early answer was the Stars, and... Of course, it's Joel Kiviranta. And Sorelli for this shift. Kiviranta through center. Hints on the fly to join him. Two shot score! Joel Kiviranta got a couple of shots at it. And with 28 seconds left in the second period, the Dallas Stars have taken a 3 1 lead. Well, what a momentum swing that is. is the look on John Cooper's face says it all. Here's the good shot by Shen. The tip in front that goes over the shoulder of Hudobin, but off the crossbar and out. You get a frustrated top line making a change. And this is really a, a nothing play. You've got a one on four as Kiviranta has nothing but blue sweaters around him. The one block on Sergachev and he's heads up right on it underneath the arm of Vasilevsky. I would love to know what you do to defend that. There was an NHL promo about the, the glory and the sacrifice and you gotta block shots to win the cup. But they never show a clip like that where Mikhail Sergachev blocks a shot valiantly and then it goes in a second later. Joel Kiviranta went from guy most of you, almost all of you, never heard of before these playoffs to unstoppable force apparently. How do you stop that? You can't. That's a hat pick. And speaking of guys who have been disrespected, Anton Hudobin is a decade older than Joel Kiviranta, and this is 
really one of his first moments in the limelight. And it's a wonder how that's possible when he's making saves like this. It was really quiet at the Tampa bench during that TV timeout. John Cooper had that look like he knows his team doesn't have any tempo in their game right now. Johnson to the blue line. There's a one-timer that got through. He's put. Cirelli bangs away at it, and Hudobin somehow kept that out. And then there's a dog pile in the blue of the crease. Ryan McDonough's shot rattled around. Hudobin stopped it, and then the battle was on and still is. Well, there's the follow-up to a physical shift. You get right to the front of the net, and this is the first time in this game we've seen Hudobin and what has really endeared himself to his teammates, the never-say-die battle. How about this one? Puck in the air, he flails back, gets a piece of it. Now it's a scramble in front, and I got it, I got it. Oh, can, can I just say, I, I don't know if this is my own personal preference, but Canada has had some of the best goalies in the world for a long time, right? But it's very cookie-cutter, right? Like, there's a lot of goalies around the NHL that play basically the same. But Russian goalies these days, they play the way I watched goalies play growing up, except I think they're better athletes now, and they're able to do stuff like this. I love this. Like, th this is what I talk about, th the difference between like a defensive battle and a boring game, or, or a boring game and a goalie duel. I want to see goalies battle. I want to see goalies make desperation saves, and what is more desperate than catching the puck with your blocker? <laughs> I love it. Anton Hudobin, man. That's a hat pick. That's a that's a blocker pick. And a hat pick really should be given to the Dallas Stars because they've been just denied and disrespected the whole way. I didn't pick them to win in round one. I didn't pick them to win in round two. The only reason I picked them in round three is because I'm like, well, they keep winning. And they come out in game one against Tampa, and it wasn't a park the bus thing until the third period. They were straight up the better team for the first 40. Sure, they lost game two, but game one was a hat pick in itself. Game two, however, was Tampa's time, and their first two goals were on the power play, and I want to take a look at both of them. Here's the first. Other side, Kucherov to point, shoot, scores! After an 0 for 15, a power play goal, and that changes the complexion of the game for Tampa. It's one to nothing, Bolts. Okay, that one's pretty good. It's not as good as the next one, though. The reason I'm showing it to you is because Kucherov and Braden Point, tell me, have they had amazing playoffs? Yes. Okay, so think about how amazing their playoffs have been, and the fact that this is game two of the Stanley Cup Final, which is the fourth round, and then consider the fact that they just passed Nathan McKinnon from the Colorado Avalanche, who were eliminated in round two. Yeah. No, oh, he was, he was good. He was good. You know how they always have those conversations like, oh, is this guy a front runner for the Conn Smythe and it's like the second round? It's like, how about you wait a little bit? This was a rare example of, uh, no, if the Colorado Avalanche were in the Stanley Cup final, we would not only be talking about him winning the Conn Smythe if they won, we would potentially be talking about it if they lost. But getting back to Tampa, ooh, the second goal. Hedman, a lot. Edmund fakes the shot, Kucherov, a hard pass, Palat shoots, scores! Boy, did they snap the puck around beautifully on that power play, so they've got two power play goals and a 2-0 lead. Well, this tells you a lot about the mental strength of Kucherov after just a dismal first power play where he couldn't make a pass. This is disgusting. Disgusting. So a lot of the attention is going to be on Nikita Kucherov for the slap pass, and it's beautiful. Check out Victor Hedman, though. The Dallas Stars, they have this aggressive penalty kill. They're moving around. They're fast. Watch what he does. The fake shot, I, I thought it was just the top two guys. It was all four Stars attackers are frozen in their tracks. And now what? He's able to give it to Nikita Kucherov, and look at this. The slap pass, it, it's like it caught Andre Palat off guard. <laughs> look at this. He like kind of bobbles it. The shot's not even good. Like Hudobin almost stopped that. But eh, good enough. It crossed the goal line. <laughs> wow, what a play. That's a hat pick. So. What did you think of this week's edition of Steve's Hat Picks? Let me know in the comment box down below. And right now, it's only Stanley Cup Finals Hat Picks the whole rest of the way. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is this the last one coming up? I gotta talk to Drew. But for now, that is it for this week's edition of Steve's Hat Picks brought to you by Warrior Hockey. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. Ah, just try to catch it with your blocker. Why not?